check it out. Finally got a chance to add the Akaras in this tank. When I initially got these guys, uh, the goal was to put them in this aquarium in the first place. Now they've finally reached a, a good size and I can put them in, but damn, look at those colors though. It's really nice. These fish are really, really nice when they're big, uh, especially the albino version, so I'm really glad to have them in this tank, but yeah, they emit a really nice color. It's pretty sick. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian and I make all kinds of freshwater fish keeping videos. In this channel, I cover things like DIY projects related to the aquarium hobby, along with giving you guys updates on all of my fish. So if you like what you're checking out, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and I appreciate your support. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and incorporate a cleanup crew for my biker aquarium. Now when it comes to a cleanup crew, I wanna add something that's specifically targeting the algae that builds up on this tank. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's some algae that builds up on the front of the glass whenever I leave my lights on for too long. Let me go ahead and explain. So my refusion right here, I leave the lights on for about eight hours. Now in this section of the sump, it's pretty much all moss and plants too. Uh, and it also has some shrimp in there for some uh, extra cleanup. But this light also stays on for eight hours as well. So as you can see, I have a lot of attachments on this tank to help combat algae. I corrected my initial algae problem by limiting the amount of light in my display tank and only allowing light on my sump refugium area and on my overhead sump or overhead refugium right there. So the lights in the tank aren't necessarily on all the time, but every once in a while, there's gonna be a little piece of algae here and there that I have to go in there and scrub. I think it's from the light bleed from this refugium shining down into the tank, which uh, kind of causes that issue. And I also tested my water and my nitrate level isn't too crazy, but it could be a contributor to the algae as well. So I wanted to keep that in mind. The only issues that I have with the algae cleanup crew or whatever is these guys will destroy almost anything that I thought about in the first place. So autos, shrimp, and all those other little algae cleaners, these guys will destroy them um, with ease. Now you may be thinking that I can get a big pleco, put them in this tank, and they'll go ahead and clean up the aquarium with all the algae and stuff because usually when you think of algae eaters, you think of a pleco. But at the same time, I don't want to add a pleco in here because I've heard horror stories of plecos just like scratching up acrylic tanks. Uh, not like this tank is mint, but I would rather have it have less scratches than it already has. And on top of that, plecos end up developing a taste for slime coat. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts online about plecos like sucking the slime coats off of their bikers because the bikers are chilling on the ground like this. And then it's an opportunity for a pleco to come out and just destroy it. And on top of that, I've had a horrible experience with a pleco destroying one of my beautiful ranch shoes. You see, back then before I made this channel, I was really into side view ranch shoes and fancy goldfish. I had a perfect side view ranch shoe that was, that was flawless. Personality was good, body shape was perfect, fins were perfect, and it was, it was the perfect goldfish. And then I decided to put a bristle nose pleco in there. That bristle nose pleco destroyed my goldfish so bad that I had to actually give it away to my local fish store because I knew that they were able to heal it back to life and it provided better care than I would at the time. So yeah, ever since that day, I stopped taking care of plecos. I stopped buying plecos and uh, I'm definitely not adding a pleco in this tank. So I went ahead and went to my local fish store and picked up two nearite snails. Now I already have history of my nearite snails in the past doing really good at cleaning up algae, but the only issue was they have spikes. So I went ahead and picked up some nearite snails that aren't equipped with spines on their shell. I went ahead and left my lights on for about 10 hours a day, uh, mainly in the morning and afternoon time, so I'm not robbing the bikers of nighttime, which they enjoy very much. And uh, the reason why I did this is because I needed to build algae on everything but those specific areas that I mentioned before. I wanted algae in the front panel, I wanted algae on the back panel, on the sides, on everything. I wanted algae on <laughs> absolutely everything, which it kind of worked. It mainly showed up in the front and bottom half of the panel where the lights shine the best. And um, we're gonna go ahead and use these spots to test if the snails are doing a good job. And that's if they survive the bikers. So the plan is to have them in the tank with the bikers to help clean up with the algae, but uh, I'm actually not gonna be able to monitor them for the rest of the night. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys so they're not hungry by the time the snails get added in. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and check in tomorrow morning when we add them into the aquarium. All right guys, so it's the next day and it's about time to add in the snails to the biker tank. The only problem is, it's really, really, I don't, I don't know why I opened this, but it's really hot outside and it's about 90 something to about 100 degrees in the garage right now. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna go ahead and capture them and uh, put them into the tank. And when I say capture, I'm talking about getting them out of this tank right here. And it's gonna be a mission. All right, there's one right there. Now I gotta do is find the others. I don't know if you can see that, but on top of the sponge filter, there's like a really nice layer of algae that build up. It looks pretty sick. Hopefully I'll be able to cover this sponge filter. That'll be pretty tight. I found another Nerite, but that's another horned. So one here and then one uh, right there. Man, this took forever. I literally tore the plants up. Um, the plants were pretty much good on the substrate. And uh, here they were pretty tight on the substrate. But then now I had tore everything up just to look for these two snails. And the bad part is I didn't even find both snails. I found one of them, which is right here. This is the, the rounded big Nerite snail that I'm going to go ahead and put in the biker tank. I don't know where the other one is. I know it's in here for sure. I just can't destroy this tank anymore. Uh, it's going to be pretty much torn up by the time I'm done looking for the second one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try them out with this guy right here and see how the bikers react to their new tank mate. All right, here we go. Oops. There he goes. Oh shit, he's upside down. There you go. All right guys, so the snail is in the tank and it's moving around, as you can see. Uh, the biker is right there and I just turned the lights on, so I don't think they're gonna be too worried about um, messing with this snail. Uh, they're kind of, it's kind of too early for the lights to be on, so they're just kind of freaking out. Look at him. He's just going. He is flying. He is moving. I never purposely added a snail to my biker tanks before, but as you can see, like the, sh the size difference between the biker and the snail, the biker can pretty much kill it in like one bite, but I'm hoping that the bikers aren't used to eating snails in this tank, and they'll just kind of leave it alone. I've never fed them snails, even when they were smaller, so I hope they don't recognize it as food, but... It's going towards the front. I just want to see what happens here. This is a really fast snail. This is pretty sick. I feel like once they get up on the wall, uh, they'll be safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, But when they're down here, it's kind of like a open game. You know what I mean? But if, it's, if, it's what, if it just gets on the wall, it'll be perfectly fine. We're just going to go ahead and go inside and come back later tonight to see if it's still around. Wow, you won't believe it. Right when I get inside the house, the second near ice snail comes out. So it's it's right here. I'm gonna wait to see what happens with the one outside first before adding this one. But yeah, uh, here's the other one. So if you guys are ever wondering what it looked like, this is what it looks like. All right, so it's been a little later. Let's go ahead and check up on the snail. You guys can see him, but he's right there. Just kind of riding the edges of the tank, um, maybe because it's new and it's just kind of exploring at this point. But uh, the bikers don't really seem to care that it's in here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. But yeah, there it is. It went ahead and went from, it went from here to over there. And it's just kind of an adventuring at this point. So let's go ahead and check in a little later and see what it's up to. All right guys, so it's the next day. Let's go ahead and check up on that snail. Man, every time I come into this garage, this is what I come out to. These guys just parked chilling all fins up look at that guy back there kicking it and he's always in his corner but yeah man bikers is not the point of this video the point of this video is finding this little snail to see if he made it i have no idea where it is i haven't checked up on it ever since yesterday this tank isn't the biggest tank but it's going to be kind of hard to find a snail in here okay so it's been about 10 minutes and i still can't find the snail so i went ahead and went in the house and grabbed a flashlight Hopefully I can find it with this without disturbing the peace of the bikers. As I'm looking for the snail, you can definitely get a um, appreciation of how big this Enli is right here. So I have a ruler here, and uh, that black mark, oops, this black mark here is around 12. And uh, it's not perfectly aligned, but this is my smaller Enli. It's about 13 from head to tail, so you can definitely appreciate how big this guy got. 
That one back there is pushing around 15. And then I got the wild card here. Looking good as always. This is my favorite one. Um, if I have to rehome any of these bikers, I hope I can keep this one for the longest amount of time because this is my favorite one. So it's been about 30 minutes. I still can't find the snail. I thought it was going to be under the substrate. I was looking for pieces of shells just in case the bikers ate it. Uh, couldn't find any of that either, so maybe the Dreadfin of Cars tore it up or something. Um, I checked the upper cracks of the tank. Didn't find anything. So I kind of came to the conclusion that the biker ate the snail. Uh, I even used this flashlight, and um, I'm just kind of looking through without stressing out the fish too much. And, oh, sh he was just over here. I literally just got a glimpse of him. I just don't know where he ended up going. He was just here, right there. Boom, look in that corner. Bow, live, near right snail. <laughs> I thought you were dead, my boy. <laughs> That's my snail, dude. That was my snail, dude. Damn, man, I thought you were... I thought this guy was long gone, man. I thought it was over for him. But yeah, man, he's chilling. He's pretty much running away from the light right now. But, see, he's there in that corner. So anyways, just to wrap this video up, can you put snails with bikers to assist with being like a little cleanup crew for your aquarium? I would say yes, go for it, but please restrain from putting in those spiky or horn snails as they might harm your bikers as you try to swallow them. I actually wouldn't feel as bad if my bikers ate the snail, but I would feel really, really bad if my biker ate the snail and couldn't pass the shell because of the spikes and the horns on the more aggressive looking snails. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and peace guys. Yeah.